Hello everyone, so for today's drawing, I'm going to be drawing a bunny guardian. So the idea is that this fairy is a guardian of the fairy world and he rides a rabbit. So um, to get started, I decided to actually break this video into two parts. One part will be for this week and the second part, which is going to be mostly foreground, is going to be next week. So today's focus is going to be the background. For the background, I tried very hard to include um, a lot of elements, but kind of keep them faded and kind of far away because he's kind of standing guard on that border. So um, for the background, I used a wet on wet technique. I first masked off all the area, which is going to be the palace, and um, I masked it off and I put a purple and a blue mixture for a background and I made it very very light and then when it was still damp but not wet I put in um, a little bit more purple this was a bit more of a pure purple so that it will look really dark and I put that into the background to suggest faraway trees you, unlike what you would typically do in one of these drawings where you'd make the trees look slim because they're very far away, you want these to look rather big. After all, this is a fairy realm. So, after that has completely dried, you're going to mix the color for the close-up tree trunks. Once again, remember that this is supposed to be fairy world. So very sm they're very small, so everything else is very big. So, you're going to... Um, mix, I mixed uh, one of my browns, a warmer brown, and then I mixed in a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue because I wanted those colors from the background to come out. And then as I was working, I also dabbed the bottom to kind of form this mist around the palace. Um, I'm probably going to darken that down when I come in for final line work because you can't really make out the lines for the palace, but Right now, I kind of like the fog effect. Once I had completed my background, which was the tree area, I moved on to my middle ground, which will be the palace and the lake behind it, and the guard towers. So I knew for my middle ground that I wanted the palace and the guard towers to be white. In order to achieve a proper white appearance, I went through and put reflections of all the colors from the background. So I used a wet on wet technique and very lightly dropped in purples and blues from the background into this middle ground. Um, also you have to remember shadows and the shadows will fall mostly towards the waterline and um, towards the opposite area from where your sun is, um, your light source is. So I'm kind of painting a noonday sun or not quite noon, but uh, an evening sun. And this kind of provides that nice evening sun effect. And that just make sure that it's a little lower, maybe coming from about the upper right hand corner or a little lower than that. Once I had inserted my values in a way that I was satisfied with, I moved to the very first washes of the um, lake and the kind of grassy area that the bunny is sitting on. Um, it's not really grass in the end, it's kind of more of a moss because otherwise it wouldn't make sense for the scale. But it's still going to be very green and so just lay down a kind of nice light wash for that. After I had laid down my first color, I kept layering on top of that using Gradually Darker. Remember to leave a little bit of your first layers showing. It will add nice depth and dimension to your painting. As I continued with this work, I used a wet on wet technique to kind of create um, a nice texture to the moss. So the wet on wet allows you to kind of drop in these um, cauliflower shapes so you kind of provide even more liquid as it's drying so it kind of blooms out and creates these spaces of different colors. So I use that effect to kind of keep a mossy feel. 
I will go back over this later and create even more texture and depth. For the guard towers, I kind of wanted to keep them feeling very gothic. So all, all of the architecture drew its inspiration from gothic architecture. So I went through and um, wanted to tighten up some of the veins in the guard tower. And um, I did that by creating shadows with a nice purple color. Um, I also wanted to deepen the colors of some of the windows in the palace in the background. This provided a nice contrast to the open windows in the guardhouse. The guardhouse's windows go all the way through, but the palace windows go into a room. Taking my time and being patient, I went back through several times to darken the windows and to tighten up the lines which suggest the windows. I also went through and delineated the wall of the palace from the towers that are way in the background of the palace. This allowed for this sensation of depth. So as I began to wrap up this painting, or this half of the painting, I went through and added shadows. Once again, keeping in mind where my sun is coming from, I mixed a green with a fair amount of blue and wrapped those in as shadows. I used actually a wet on dry technique for the shadows and then would blur out the edges. This provided a nice kind of dark um, effect which helped it all to stand out. I then proceeded to add texture. Like I said earlier, I wanted a kind of mossy feel to the ground, so I went through and took some darker, some of my darker paints and loaded them onto my brush. And once my surface had completely dried, I splattered some of the paint along the painting. This provided a nice texture which kind of felt mossy to me. I also added some interest to the painting by adding some foliage just around the edges of the lake. A quick note on the masking fluid. The masking fluid, I think I kept it on for about four days, but it be already began to stain the paper. So um, I used a yellow masking fluid. So if you want masking fluid that does not stain, try to go for a white or a pale blue. Um, luckily, I don't think that this will affect the overall painting in the end. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe.